Witchen or Witchers, an elite and mysterious caste of warrior monks. In popular lore, they're portrayed as possessing magic powers and superhuman abilities. Witchers were believed to combat evil spirits, ghastly monsters, and all manner of dark forces. It's possible that witches had animal eyes, which granted them sight in near darkness, rendering survival probable in encounters with fiends both subterranean and nocturnal, kobolds, vampires and ghouls. Witches used their silver swords to kill creatures of magic provenance, wraiths, cursed souls and striggers. With their swords of meteorite steel, they felled non-magic beasts, and the occasional human who refused to pay for services rendered. In combat, witches would go into a trance, induced, it's supposed, through self-hypnosis or the consumption of intoxicants. They fought with blind abandon, sensing absolutely no pain, ignoring even serious injuries, which fed fears and superstitions about their unearthly powers. There is little doubt that witches were perceived to be vile beings who could bring misfortune down upon common folk with their gaze alone. The heroes of fairy tales and other yarns, witches entered the folklore of the Nordlings. This is true of one especially, Geralt the Riv, known as the White Wolf. Listen now to one of the legends about him. Yo, what is going on guys? JQ or Mental Sharp and welcome to my first ever walkthrough of any game. Uh, the Witcher 2, this came out the 16th for gold members only. Um, it was the free game of the month. And, yeah, I heard a lot of great things about this game. Um, I never played Witcher 1 or anything like that, so this is going to be a brand new experience for me. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, I already played the tutorial, so I basically somewhat know what to do. So, I'm going to choose a normal difficulty, and let's get right into this. Come on, Sixes. Daddy needs you. Oh, shit. Ha! Twenty orange to granddad. <laughs> Looky there. He's awake. You daft! Don't go in there! Shut it. He's in chains. Can't do a thing. Am I right, Master Geralt? <laughs> Run! 
Roll again. Why? The dice didn't roll. Calling me a cheat. Take it back. Look, he's awake again. Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson. I heard witches all start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. <laughs> Folks say they plow witches come the equinox. That's how they get those spooky eyes. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. I'm not so easy to kill. I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. Alright, so this is basically a game where you can like choose your own kind of things to say, which I actually think is awesome. So, um, let's do... Very fun. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh. Nasty. And after we've been through so much. Same side of the barricade then. Opposite sides of the table now. You can change that. You want me to sit on your lap? Vess! Unshackle him. You will tell me everything you remember. The entire assault. And all that happened in the solar. And if I refuse? I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case scenario, you'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Temeria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. Witcher, you? are you up? <sighs> His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges, summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, milady, but the King. We heard you. A pleasant day to you, milady. Witcher. Stupid war. Could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. A wise war is a contradiction, Triss. 
Then maybe you know just how I should advise our lustful monarch. Stop falling in love, sire no further bastards, and don't wage stupid wars. Genius. You know these bastards could vie for the throne in the future? Then we'd have an even more senseless conflict. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Faltest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Mm hmm The unlucky assassin? How did the autopsy go? It was a nightmare. In the months since you killed him, the king's medics poked around in his corpse like a bunch of amateurs. What arrived in that cart? Well, I wouldn't even call it a corpse. Foltest has some trust issues. Did you learn anything? His pupil suggested he could probably see in the dark as well as you. I couldn't put an age on him. The killer snuck past all the guards and nearly killed Foltest and me a month ago. And now you tell me he was a witcher? Possibly. I'm just saying what the autopsy showed. I haven't told anyone, nor do I plan to. I know what it could do to you if it got out. You might be a savior, a king's witcher now, but masters can be as fickle as the cults they ride. One of the scouts swears he saw a dragon down by the river. Claims he ran into a Scoia'tael unit. That would have been it if the dragon hadn't swooped down. The elves apparently bowed in prayer and he escaped. A dragon? In the midst of civilization? Oh, please. Besides, does it matter? Witchers don't hunt dragons. Or has something changed? Nothing's changed. And you're right. It's probably not a dragon. Although it could be a forked tail or a slizzard. Maybe even an overgrown wyvern. The scout ran into some elves and scurried away. That's how that story begins and ends. I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest. The wild hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance, some clue to grab onto, something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. All right. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. Alright, so, well, we got to see, to see some beautiful boobies. So, beautiful. Um, I'm just gonna look around this area, see if I can find anything else. Uh, I don't think I can, so let's head out. I gotta say, I really like this game so far. Um, I never played any of the Witcher games, so this is a brand new experience for me, like I said. Um, so, yeah. I don't know where to go. <laughs> oh, yeah, who has a question for me? Who asked? You? Alright, whatever. Let's fucking go. Now, listen up. We'll soon be joining the fray. And I must say, I've never seen a lot. Uh, if you guys actually like to uh, see some more walkthroughs of it, uh, make sure to leave a like. Just leave a like, comment below if you have any more games for me to play. So, a beautiful day yeah, for let's battle. Talk to this dude. Fear not, Excellency. We're out of range of their arbalists. I am no warrior, sir. I guess we have to walk with I them. must admit, I prefer oh, to sure. just. Finally. Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. It's armed, strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. 
An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea your grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae two years ago for her birthday. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men who live in spite of such wounds? And what say you, your grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency, but I plan to leave the royal court as soon as possible. Might I know why? Too often they take me for someone I'm not. What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Brenner and during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sador. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! <laughs> Norman Sador, for your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. Alright, so hopefully we get to uh, be in this war soon, actually. Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when... They're my children. If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Adder is dead. And I have no other children. I see. This conversation is over, Excellency. Please retire to your tent. Black ones in my camp before a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing would make me happier than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? I couldn't have handled it better myself. Ha! I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talked about Adder no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Nothing new, sire. A month's passed and we don't know any more than we knew when we began. This investigation's going nowhere. My agents have learned little also. But we'll find the culprits. It's just a question of time. Now, for the battle. I want you at my side today. Then you may go where you please. Thank you, sire. Where are you aiming, imbeciles? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at you, very! Catch, Witcher. Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? Alright, so we have to aim for the red thing, I'm pretty sure, so... I'm guessing, I'm just gonna aim here. Yes. One and a half degrees. Got it. Did we hit the bastard? He's down. Ha! One less traitor. Time to attack. Follow me, Witcher. Yeah, this is a really great game so far. I like it.
Uh, my friend just told me on kick that actually there's a lot of nudity in this game, so you know, Witcher, be on the lookout I'm for that, I guess. Forgive, Louisa. All she need do is to kneel before her king. Hopefully my channel doesn't Very get like suspended you. or anything. Are you mocking me? Never mind. I'm certain Louisa will realize her mistakes. Besides, children should have a mother. I'm lost. It's quite simple. Louisa and I had a bit of a tiff. She made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? I think so. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the evil king would take her children. But they would protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped. A motherly love again. used. When you plow In truth, the king, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. That's the swiving soldier's life. Taking orders, smash your bow. What the fuck is that dude saying? Your wife, and a long road at your toe. Beautiful song, better than Justin Bieber by far. Right. Where the fuck are we going? Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Damn. Look alive, man! Hail to the king! Beautiful. Where the hell are we headed? What the fuck do we want? Victory! This I like. Alright. What are we doing? Eyes on the bridge. There we go. We're nearly there. Weapons at the ready. Oh, we're we gonna fucking attack these guys. Hopefully, they'll be sick as fuck. There's a lot of cutscenes in this game, actually. Like this. <laughs> that tower was ridiculous. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss-filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or in <laughs> battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, which, uh... Continue your story. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette. Really? Alright, so basically he's explaining the story in the prison to that dude, and then we're actually playing the story. I actually like that very much. I love games like that. <laughs> Fucking do this. Oh shit. Maybe. I'm not sure if you can actually spur in this game. I have to figure out if you can. I have to figure out where we're going actually. Let's attack these guys right here. Suck the dick! Oh shit. Lord Suxon, you shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, Your Majesty. Follow me, gentlemen, for Temeria. Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defender's morale. Yes, Your Grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me. For the glory! Fall back, damn. God damn it! I forbid you to die like imbeciles! Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards! If this persists, they'll pick us off like ducks, and I'm no duck! Any ideas? That ballista would do the trick. 
Oh, we're gonna have to go down there. Let's go. Oh, I'm guessing we have to. How do we uh, get down there without breaking their fucking legs? Let's see. Oh, easy. <laughs> fucking stairs. Jump. There we go. Right, let's fuck these guys up. Come on, pull out your sword. I'm gonna pull out your sword, what the hell? Alright. Let's get double listed now. Oh, yeah. Um. Let's see that one. Actually, shit. Oh shit, did I die? Oh my god. Wow, I'm stuck. This <laughs> game over. Down no, there you go. All right, let's try not to die. Let's do this one actually. Blow the lilies. Stand your ground. Blow the lilies. Oh, shit. Oh shit, 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 oh Come on. Alright, we got this. Come on, swing. Swing! I fucking dare you. There you go. <laughs> That's all you really have to do in this game, just wait for them to attack you. Alright, let's get this ballista. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, come in. Yeah. There you go. Sounds like a fucking masturbating or something. I don't know why I pressed B right Kill there. The Witcher. There we go. Oh shit, wait a minute. There we go. Again. Oh, Jesus, fuck. How many fucking people are there? Jesus Christ. Kill the Witcher! Kill the Witcher! You can't really like lock on to them, which is like shitty. Oh. Oh, shit. Kill the 
Let's take it easier here. Come on, swing. These guys with the shields are assholes, I gotta admit that. Alright, one more swing and he's fucked. Kill the Witcher! And there we go. The combat is a little iffy in this game. Um So yeah. That's slow motion though. The tower men! Huh. Storm the tower! The gods are with us! Wait, you can search for bottoms and shit? Oh yeah, I forgot that. Wait a minute, can you? Let's get up here again. Wait, can we climb back, back up here? We can't. What about up here? And he is fucked. Let's go. Oh shit, attack him. Blow the lilies! That was cool. <laughs> Get this dude. He's not even paying attention. He's like, I'm gonna die. Fuck it, whatever. Where do I go? Uh, do I jump up here? There you go. Claim. Get the mole. So it's a dude. Jesus, dude. Oh, oh, fuck it. Blow the lilies! Let's make it across this bridge. Actually, okay, never mind. They got them. <laughs> Call him a dipshit. <laughs> That's awesome. The door. Smash the door. Axeman. You need splinters. Damn. <laughs> Just asking for it. Bring on, bitch. Damn, that's a big dude. Down with oh, tyranny! Shit. I don't know what. Oh, Jesus, dude, I'm not ready for you. came after me, that's gay. Let's try this again. Are you fucking kidding me? What the hell? I am not attacking that dude. I can guarantee that. Oh, 
Come on, bro. Alright. Thank god the fucking people are gone. Jeez. I got like a pubic hair of health left. I don't even know how the fuck I took damage on that. Alright. Let's get all this loot. Alright, let's go. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but hopefully it won't be that long. Desist! Or be put down like the rabid dogs you are! Arian Lavalette, this will be no easy task. Surrender, Arian! You'll be treated with honor! Go plow yourself, King! <laughs> oh, that's the beautiful. That's the arrows. greatest thing I ever Come heard. Come on, men! They're well shielded. You got a better idea? I'll try to get inside. It shouldn't be hard if the archers provide cover. That's the son of Louisa and the old Baron, heir to these lands. He's hot tempered but good with a sword. Be careful. I'll try to reason with him. Alright guys, I'm actually going to stop this video here because I just looked at my time and it's actually like almost 40 minutes, so I'm going to have to end it here. Um, if you guys actually enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. I'll hopefully do a part 2 of this and hopefully finish the game for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed that, uh, make sure to, oh shit. <laughs> make sure to click that like button and I'll see you guys later. Peace.